Bearded Skulls, what's up? I am Sean, I am back, and we are still on our Beard Gents experience. However, had a couple of days there because of the end of my trip. Uh, something got mixed up with a couple of the videos. Um, whatever, it didn't all come out very well. So I'm gonna do a little bit longer video today to talk about the last couple of days. I didn't stop using Beard Gents and I, I kept up with the routine. It's just the videos didn't come out right, so we're gonna make uh, a little quicker long video here that'll cover a couple of days worth. I do apologize because I don't have anything in front of me, so I don't have the carrier blends, um, but we'll talk about the scents nonetheless and a few other things. So after having used the Cabano, the next day I chose to go with Dawn Citrus, which was incredible. Really nice clean citrus smell, which it is sweet orange and bergamot. It was really nice to have a, scent, a citrus scent like that because citrus pairs so well with so many other things, cinnamon, bourbon. Um, it, it very rarely is a standalone on its own. It always seems to be paired up with something. And that's fine. It's nothing wrong with those scents. But it was nice it, using Dawn Citrus to allow that citrus to really pop and be the the a standalone scent. Now it is because it's a the essential oils like all of the um, original four. It's a little bit more mild. Um, I wouldn't have minded if it was a little bit stronger, and I I feel like that's pretty much my take on most of the original four. They're great. They are mild. Um, but I wouldn't mind a little bit more pop on any of them for me personally, because I like bold scents. I don't even know if that's achievable with the, with the essential oils, but, and maybe you'd get a little bit more of it with the, uh, balms. Um, I don't know, but like I said, the original four are all a little bit more mild and I like my scents a little bit more bold, but they were still really good product and I did love the scent on all of them up to that point. Um, so yesterday I actually used Daddy Licious, which is again, it's, it's a really nice uh, scent. I don't have the uh, carrier blend again, but it's bubble gum. What it reminds me of the most is the nostalgia of the baseball cards or football cards I used to get as a kid, opening them up and that dry piece of gum that's in there, but it smelled amazing. And the problem is your flavor on that lasted for maybe five minutes at best. But the scent of Daddy Licious lasts much longer. It's, it's a nice strong smell. I get a good five-ish hours out of it where I could smell it on and off. So yesterday was great, really enjoyed that. Um, I'm definitely a big fan of Daddy Licious. There's still some available, and I got mine in both the oil and butter. So that was a really good one. Um, really enjoyed it. Still some available, so I highly recommend you try to get your hands on it because uh, when it's gone, it's gone. It's going to be retired. This is its second run. So whatever limited editions Beard Gents chooses to do from here is going to be something completely new. So that's going to be interesting to see what's coming next. And as far as today, I've got in Sir Woody. Again, it's mild. I loved the scent on this one. The pink grapefruit and that sandalwood are really nice. I wish it was a little stronger um, because I just, I really like the scent. And I was like, I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more of it, but I think what I'll do eventually is get one in a full size with, with the, one of the balms, which is, I don't know if I've mentioned it previously, but something that's really nice about Beard Gents is you can customize the strength of your balms. When you order a balm online, you can select light hold, medium hold, strong hold. That's really cool. That that you can do that and it's a feature I didn't know till I heard about it in their stories and I had looked at this stuff before. So it is there. Also on their website, what's really nice about each individual oil um, 
and I'm pretty sure it's on the bombs and butters too. I'd have to double check, but I know it's on the oils because I was looking this morning. It tells you whether or not it's an essential oil blend uh, or oil and fragrance blend. It tells you how strong it is, whether it being mild or, or strong. And it also gives you an approximate hours of how, how long the scent will last. Uh, of course, it's always going to vary a little bit from person to person and situation to situation, but it's a lot of nice information on their website. And it just goes to show that they've really thought things through and gone that extra mile. So I'm going to post this as one solid length of video, which will include the last three days of Dawn Citrus, Daddy Licious, and today's Sir Woody. Uh, so still got a couple more days, few few more to finish up. Um, I was noticing this morning that in my travels, my bottle, my sample of Mr. Cool, which I've already used a few times, actually leaked out a little bit. So I will talk about Mr. Cool in another day or two, maybe even tomorrow. Um, but I won't have it to put in beard. I'll put a, another variety of beard gents in. Um, maybe I'll use the unscented and, uh, but talk about what I thought of Mr. Cool. Cause I just didn't have any left in the bottle to use after I'd used it a few times already. And then some of it leaked out. No big deal. Um, probably just didn't have it on tight enough when I went on my vacation. Uh, but we are still going to end up doing our full line of beer gents. So I'll just feature that when I talk about when I give the unscented a try since there won't be a scent to talk about with that one. So bearded skulls, you have yourselves a great day. If you've liked this series, like, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Any input you have or feedback I'm all game for. And with that, I'm out.